All right, Shalom. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, or Kakadash. I'm going to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and Rule Well. I'm going to say Shalom to the brothers of YSO Nashville. This is Yakarai coming at you with a video right here. And uh, I really don't know what I'm going to uh, title this video. Um, but uh, I guess I'll just call it, uh, I don't know, something to do with uh, Second Ezra's. I'm going over. Uh, some of the books of Second Ezra right here, and if you read through Second Ezra, it really gets into uh, some serious prophecies. Some of these things are taking place, or many of these things are taking place right now. Um, but chapter four, I'm gonna just go ahead and start with the uh, verse, man. Just go ahead and get into the scripture. Uh, the first verse, the chapter four says, "And the angel that was sent unto me, whose name was Uriel, gave me an answer and said." Thy heart hath gone too far in this world, and thinkest thou to comprehend the way of the Most High? Okay, so um, he was basically saying to Second Ezra, hey, look, you know, you've been in this world um, for quite some time. You know what I'm saying? Um, you, you've had a you've had a mind um, of this world for quite some time, man. And you know, a lot of times, because we're here in the diaspora and in the uh, damn Babylon, man. You know, sometimes we do get get uh, I'm not gonna say we go off, but we get we liken our hearts and minds to the things of what this world has to offer, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the niceties, um, you know, whether it be cars, clothes, or women. You know what I'm saying? Um, these things may not necessarily cause us to go off, man, but we have to just be honest with ourselves, man. We're we're in. We're in Babylon, man. We're in the, the the land of confusion, man. So it's always a struggle to try and comprehend the things that are most high, man. All right? That's why we have to stay in this word, man, every single day. Okay? Because if not, man, if, if we're not filling our minds with, with the scriptures, what is going to fill our mind, man, but, but confusion? All right? But um, so the angel Uriel is speaking uh, to Ezra. And Ezra is uh, trying to comprehend some things, man. So he he's praying. He's um, you know he's uh, basically inquiring of the Lord um, to get a lot of the answers that that he's looking for. Uh, but really, I wanted to get into to chapter five, man. And these and these, these scriptures right here are are uh, several of them are well known amongst the brethren, man. Um, but when you really sit and med meditate on these things, man, it's some heavy um, some heavy. Uh, some heavy truths, you know what I'm saying, that come along with these, man. But let's get into it. All right, so this is Second Ezra chapter 5. It says, Nevertheless, it's like it, nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, all right, and tokens uh, just means bits of bits of understanding, man. All right, so it's, uh, it says, Nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in great number okay those that dwell upon the earth shall be taken in great number man all right so you're going to have uh a lot of people who are going to be taken in what man all right taken in uh in death basically you know what i'm saying there's a lot of people that's going to be killed man all right uh behold the days they shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in great number and the way of truth shall be hidden and the land shall be barren of faith. And also, man, where where it talks about those are going to be taken in great number, it's also talking about the men of the Lord, man. All right, the hopeful elect are going to be taken, man. How are they going to be taken? They're going to be taken by the chariots, man. The chariots are showing themselves, okay? The chariots are showing themselves in, in greater numbers, man. So the men of the Lord, all right, the hopeful elect are going to be taken, man. All right? Which only consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? You heathen are not going to make it, man. All right, so if any of you uh, damn heathen are watching this video, um, just go ahead and uh, change the channel, man, because this ain't for you. All right. And the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. All right. Are we not moving more and more into a land that's barren of faith, man? You could say you could say this land is barren of faith right now. If it weren't for the men of the Lord, okay, most notably Great Millstone, okay, who has nothing but 100% truth, okay? And all the all the camps that ascribe 
and subscribe to the teachings of Great Millstone and the, uh, and the Apostles. Hey, listen, man. If it weren't for these videos, this whole place would be bearing the faith. Now, I truly believe that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But the Most High is always going to establish a remnant. Okay. Of those that are going to keep keep the uh, keep the uh, keep the truth, man. All right. The knowledge of the laws. All right. The covenants. Okay. And the witness of Yahweh Shai. All right. But um, if it, if it weren't for this uh, truth going out. Again, through the teachings and the doctrines, uh, most specifically of, of GMS, man, this whole place would be bearing a faith, man. All right. It says, uh, and the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be bearing a faith, but iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest, or that thou hast heard long ago. Okay. So he was saying to, to, to Ezra that that time was coming. All right, and this is the time we're in, and that we're continually moving into, man. Okay. Verse three: And the land that thou seest now to have root, shall thou see wasted suddenly. But if the Most High grant thee to live, that thou shalt see after the third trumpet that the sun shall suddenly shine again in the night, and the moon thrice in the day. Okay. And blood shall drop out of wood, and the stone shall give his voice, and the people shall be troubled. All right? So those things are going to gonna take place, man. All right? And even he shall rule whom, whom they look not for that dwell upon the earth, and the fowl shall take their flight away together. All right? Verse 7. And the Sodomite sea shall cast out fish and make a noise in the night. Which many have not known, but they shall all hear the voice thereof. Okay. And when it says the Sod the Sodomitish uh, sea, that's talking about an unclean, um, or just a uh, just a just a dirty, a dirty ocean, man, a dirty sea. Okay. And and we and we're, we we look upon the oceans today, and we see a lot of that that dirtiness. Um, that's that's real heaviness out there, man. You got the um the great garbage. What is it? What is that, man? It's like, um, basically, it's like it's like a, a it's almost like a damn island out in the uh, Pacific, man, of nothing but trash, man. Because the currents have 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 swirled around and basically said, um, basically placed all the garbage in one spot, man. So you look at it, it's like it's like square miles wide, man, of nothing but garbage out there, man. And you see all the time where where the where the waters are casting this casting the fish out, man. Okay. Hey, look, man, the the the, wick, the wicked are in rulership right now, man. All right, so the earth mourns, man, like the scriptures talk about. Okay? And the inhabitants thereof. All right? So the fish, the animals. Okay? But it says, uh, verse 7, And the Sodomite sea shall cast out fish and make a noise in the night, which many have not known. But they shall all hear the voice thereof. Okay? Verse 8, There shall be a confusion also in many places. Okay, so that's conf that, that confusion is going to be is going to be from or, or it is right now from all the wickedness and unrighteous unrighteousness that's done upon the earth, man. Okay, there's wickedness everywhere, and people don't know where to turn. Okay, especially the heathen, man. All right, they don't got what's called a snowman's chance in hell, man. Because faith is the faith was never with the heathen. Okay. Before uh, a, a lot of the two thirds, all right, two thirds of Jake's out there, they're in confusion too, wondering where the hell to turn, man. So they're turning to Christianity, all right. But Christianity's gone to hell in the handbag, man. Okay, the pastors are touching the kids, okay, touching the boys, all right, sleeping with everybody in the church, okay, both men and women alike, okay. So Christianity uh, is is not the way to go, man. All right, but that's 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 the confusion. It's causing everybody to just run run uh to and fro. All right, looking for answers. There shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be off sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and the wild beasts shall change their places, man. Okay. You look at all the fires and things that happen out out in the uh, out in the Midwest. 
I'm sorry, uh, Salaki, out in the um, out in the West. Okay, all those uh, wildfires in California. Okay, all the fires down there in uh, South America. Okay, that's caused the wild beasts to change their place, man. Fires in Africa. Okay, or so-called Africa. All right, that's caused wild beasts to change their place, man. What you got out in the West? You got elk. All right, uh, prairie. Um, it's another type of. Uh, it's another type of clean, uh, clean animal, man. It's like a prairie sheep or a prairie deer or something like that. Okay, you got a lot of got a lot of forests out there. A lot of a lot of areas of desert, but you do have some forests out there. All right, you got the um, you got the uh, prairie dogs. You got prairie dogs out there. All right, you got some um, some red wolves and stuff like that. Well, all those animals have been displaced, man, from all the fires and stuff. Down there in South America, you got all all sorts of animals, man. I couldn't even begin to name them, man. Jaguars, all right. For for, for starters, all right. You got some uh some clean some clean uh, deer down there, I think as well, man. Um. All right, just all sorts of animals, man. Whether they, whether they, whether they're clean as far as food or not, you know what I'm saying? They all have a purpose, you know. And all those animals have changed their place now, cause what? Cause of all the fires. Hey, the Most High's doing this. He's telling he's telling you this was going to happen. All right. Through the voice, through the voice of, uh, through the voice of his angel, man, through the voice of his messenger. Okay, he said these things were going to take place. All right. Hey, didn't even Yahweh Shai talk about this? Okay. So many, many of the prophets have spoke have spoken of these things, man. Okay. What do you think? The, why, why do you think they they spoken of these things? And they've all spoken the same things just for just for themselves, just to just to uh you know take up time all right practice their writing skills no they said these things for our benefit man so that we can see these things and know what's coming know what's know what's going to take place man have the understanding okay verse 8 there shall be a confusion also in many places and the fire shall be off sent out again and the wild beasts shall change their places and menstruous women shall bring forth monsters man these women out here are, are unclean man okay that's what the that's what menstruous means in this context, man. It means that uh, these women are unclean, and hey, and literally they they are menstruous. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them are unclean, uh, in the in the time of, of menstruation, and don't know how to take care of their bodies properly in that time. If you really get into it, but it's just talking about unclean women are going to bring forth monsters. Bring forth monsters how? Through birth. Okay, they're going to pass through and come come out of their womb, man. Menstruous women are going to bring forth monsters, man. Okay? And who are these monsters? Well, you got these children with birth defects. You could take it to mean children with birth defects. Okay? Which many which many children are being uh, born with birth defects. Alright? Children of children of uh children of Israel and children of the heathen. More so uh concerning the, the heathen, man. They, they their kids are just coming bugged out. You got kids coming out that are allergic to the sun. You got their children being born uh, that uh, just with immune def deficiency problems, all right. You got children being born with with, uh, with one arm, two arm. Uh, th I'm sorry, uh, one arm, three arms, all right. Um, what's that? What's that one? Uh, that Zika. That Zika was affecting uh, affecting a lot of the uh, Israelites down there in South America, man. Uh, uh, causing them to be born with the small heads, all right. So you got a lot of uh, you got a lot of stuff popping off now, man. Hey, it points it points right here, man. Okay, these things were spoken of before time, man. All right. This is uh again we're in Second Ezra chapter five. This is verse eight. It says there shall be a confusion also in many places, man. Lots of confusion. You know what I'm saying? Okay, LGBT. Uh, L L G B T P Q. Look, they they look. It's all the letters of the alphabet now, man. You know what I'm saying? They've added the P for the uh, for the pedophilia. Okay. The Q. I don't even know what the hell the Q, the Q is for. I mean, just utter nonsense, man. Confusion, transgender bullshit. All right. That's utter confusion, man. 
A dude don't know if he want to be a dude. Chick don't know if she want to be a chick. I mean, what the? Come on, man. Utter confusion. And the fire shall be off sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and menstruous women shall bring forth monsters. And these kids are monsters, man. All right. Aside from the birth defects, you got like like the uh, like the young young uh, Israelite cat that was killed. All right. I believe it was an Israelite cat. He was killed, and all the cats just stood around and taped it on their on their damn uh, on their on their uh, smartphones. Come on, man. Who, who would who would do that? Who would sit and 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 just record some some uh, shit like that and not and not say nothing, not get involved? You had other uh, young Israelite cats out there not help their brother. He got stabbed up by by uh, by a heathen. All right by a so-called white boy and you had these other cats who didn't do nothing to help him. come on man those are monsters right there demons literal monsters just sitting around watching death take place man those are monsters okay cut and dry no other way no other way to no other way to say it man if you're gonna sit around and actually watch some mess like that take place on your smartphone you're not even looking you're not even looking at the actual act taking place you're actually looking at your smartphone to make sure you got it Make sure you're 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 uh, recording in HD or something like that. The act is taking place right in front of you, but you're looking at your smartphone. That's a monster, man. That's a demon. All right, and that's what these women are bringing forth. Hey, I'm 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 thirty. I'm in my thirties, man. All right, I got kids that age. So these are people of my generation that have bought forth these monsters, man. A bunch of unclean women. I see them all the time. They only worried about 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 uh, two things. Okay, they're, they're, and, and it's all really the same. All right, they're only worried about two things how they look, okay, on Snapchat and Instagram, and sex. So I guess it's really one and the same. All right, they're worried about vanity and vain bullshit. So they haven't raised their children to, 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 to be any sort of upstanding uh, citizens. Okay, they brought forth monsters, man. Okay, real monsters. And that's what it is. That's the time that we live in, man. Verse 9. And salt water shall be found in the sweet, and all friends shall destroy one another. Let's talk about that water that's being found in the sweet. You're going to have salt water being found where the fresh water should be. Okay, so we're talking about the water. Uh, every, year, every year you hear about how the, how the ice caps are melting and seawater sea water is rising. Well, where is that seawater going to go, man? Okay. Water is going to flow to flow to the uh, to the easiest point first, so it's not going to flow on land. It's going to flow flow into the fresh water, flow into the estuaries. All right, it's going to flow into the estuaries, man. Killing off uh, freshwater fish. Okay, but it says fresh water, uh, salt water is going to be found found uh, with the sweet man. And all friends shall destroy one another. Then shall. Then shall wit hide itself. Wit is intelligence, man. It's smarts. Okay. Hey, I'm 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 here in uh, southern southern Tennessee, and I can tell you right now, wit has hit itself, man. These are some of the dumbest people I come in I've, I've ever come in contact with in my whole life, and that's just real talk, man. All right, all right. So, Salaki, if 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 you are uh, if you one of the brethren and you down here, uh, hey hey, listen, I'm not talking about you. All right, this ain't a hit on you. Okay. But I'm talking about these, these a lot of these foolish uh, knuckleheads running around here, okay? Uh, heathen and, and Israelites alike. But you, 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 uh, you two third Jakes down here in Southern Tennessee, man. You, you're, you're a bunch of idiots, man. A lot of you have, have lost your smarts, man. And it says, "And salt water shall be found in the sweet, and all friends shall destroy one another." Con, all right? Because you're gonna have people turning their backs on each other. All right, one after the other. That's all you're going to see. Then shall wit hide itself and understanding withdraw itself into his secret chamber. Con, because um, knowledge and understanding go hand in hand, man. If understanding has has um, has hit itself, then wit is just not there. All right. All right. Like
You need this or not? I need it, water. Alright, it's like it. Verse 10. And shall be sought of many, and yet not be found. Alright? So that's talking about that, uh, that famine of the word, man. Alright? People are going to be seeking the, uh, seeking knowledge and understanding, man. Okay? Seeking wisdom. Seeking anything of, anything of an intelligible, uh, matter, man. And it's just not going to be found, man. Hey, you can see that right now with Trump's nonsense, man. Trump is a, Trump is a, is a, uh, real life idiot, man. A real life and in your face idiot. Okay? Everybody knows it. Everybody talks about it. It's not something that's, that's hidden, uh, even from the world. Even the world sees it. This dude is a straight up idiot. Okay, and that's and that's who's running Babylon, man. All right, A.K.A. America, man. So hey, there you have it. Wit has hit itself, man. We got idiots running the uh, running the 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 uh, the capital of Babylon, man. All right. Verse ten, and shall be sought of many, yet not be found. Then shall unrighteousness and incontinency be multiplied upon the earth. Unrighteousness is, is being multiplied, man. You turn on every channel, what do you see? LGBT bullshit. Satanic nonsense. Uh, ritualistic devil worship. Okay. Uh, symbology of, of, of the Illuminati and all those damn uh, puppets and, and, and devil worshippers, man. Okay, LGBT garbage on the rise. Uh, hints of, of, of pedophilia on the rise with movies like Good Boys. Okay, um, and it's and it's been it's been a it's been a subtle thing, man. Okay, give give the inhabitants little by little, and before long they'll accept everything, man. All right, back in the day you had shows like uh, uh, movies like American Pie, where you had high schoolers having parties and. You know, cats were their whole focus was getting laid, okay. But they were they were 18 and 19 year olds, okay. That was little by little. That was that was 98, 99, okay. Well, fast forward to, to uh, 2018, 20 years later. Now you have little kids. That's uh, good boys is just the American pie of little kids now, man. They're no longer in high school going into college. They're in fifth grade going into the sixth. Okay, so they're from elementary going into and going into middle school now. And their whole purpose in life and their whole eight, nine years of life is to, uh, I think they were maybe 10 or 11. I don't know. I didn't watch the damn movie, man. It's garbage. Not funny. You know what I'm saying? And more to, more to uh, Babylonian uh, brainwashing nonsense. But now in their, so, so in this movie, in their whole 10 or 11 years of existence, now, they're, now their whole sole purpose is to get laid. Come on, man. That's 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 pushing the pedophilia agenda, man. Cause what's, what what all, all they all they're trying to do is say, hey, look, little kids now, this is what this is what they're into, man. Now now they can make these these sorts of decisions. Okay, they're mature enough now to to, to handle such such uh, life changing decisions. Okay. And you got the Ep Epstein stuff, man. The PizzaGate bullshit that's been that's been popping off. Okay. You have to you have to talk about this stuff quite a bit, man, in order to normalize it, okay? Because in the '60s and '70s, uh, homosexuality was a damn disease, man. It was considered a disease and wasn't nothing okay about it. Still isn't. But they talked about it enough throughout the years to normalize these 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 feelings that people have, the unrighteousness involved with it. You can't talk about it anymore, even in your uh, so-called Christian churches. Okay, you can't say anything bad about homosexuals anymore. Hey, this is this is the time that we're in. So now they're doing that with uh, with talking about uh, pedophiles, man. Give it about five years, man. Give it about five years. And they're going to be saying, "Hey, look, there's nothing wrong with it. Don't don't you talk about them." Okay. They have they have a uh, 
all right they have a right to 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 choose to be like that just like just like anybody else and you know what people are going to say they're going to start saying this whole thing everybody remembers this they can do what they do as long as they don't come around me in it, it wasn't that the mantra when you were talking about homosexuals Hey, I don't care if they're gay. I don't care. Hey, you want to be gay? You can be gay. Just don't bring it to me. Just don't don't bring it around me. I'm not gay. I don't roll that way. Do what you do. Just don't come around here. Well, that don't work. All right? That doesn't work. Because they're going to go over there in numbers. And once they get enough of them, they're going to bring it to your front door, man. Just like in Sodom and Gomorrah. All right? I'm sure, I'm sure that was said for years in Sodom and Gomorrah. Hey, look, I don't roll that way. Y'all go over there. Y'all want to do that? Y'all want to be a bunch of damn homosexuals? Y'all go over there and do your thing. I don't care. Just don't bring it Just don't bring it around me. We don't roll like that. All right. Well, it multiplied upon the land. Before long, they were knocking on Lot's door. Okay? Bringing it front and center, man. Bringing it right into your face. Okay? Saying, you will roll like that. Because that's how we roll. And we outnumber you. So you will roll by that. By default of us rolling like that. That's how they want to play it, man. So you gotta understand that that's the time we're living in, man. So that's 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 the confusion that's being pushed on the earth right now, man. That's why this place has got to be destroyed, man. By thermonuclear fire. The whole place is gonna to have to change down to an atomic level. Down to the very atoms and elements that make up this place. Everything's gonna to have to be changed, man. Because this place is wicked as hell. Alright? And unrighteousness. Is, is all over the damn place. Okay? This is verse 10. Then shall unrighteousness and in, 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 incontinency be multiplied upon the earth. Okay? Verse 11. One land also shall ask another and say, Is righteousness, is righteousness that maketh a man righteous gone through thee? And it shall say, No. So people are going to be searching. Okay? They're going to be on a damn search. And righteousness is going to be like, where's Waldo? Can't find him. Can't find him. I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't see. Okay, you're just not going to be able to find him. Verse 12. At the same time shall men hope, but nothing obtain. Okay? They shall labor, but their ways shall not prosper. People are going to be working like dogs, man. Hey, people work like dogs now. All right? People work like dogs now. Just just trying to provide the, the, the necessities. Okay? And barely making it. Well, in this time coming, it's not you're not going to make it. Okay? You're not going to make it. All right? Lord willing, okay? The men of the Lord, the men of the Lord, the hopeful elect, are going to make it, man. Okay, because we have the trust and the faith in Yahweh by Shimei al Shai. But most of these guys out here, come on, man. Again, snowman's chance in hell. All right, the dollar's about to crash, man. So, what are you going to be laboring for? What are you going to be laboring for? Some debt notes? They're not going to be worth anything. That's how your ways are not going to be prosperous. Because you're going to be laboring, laboring, laboring for these debt notes and the, and the, and the, um, and the currency rate of these debt notes is just going to be lower and lower and lower. You're going to have to work a whole day just to get enough for a loaf of bread. And it's probably going to be damn $60. You're going to work a whole day for for $60, but it's going to be chump change because it's only going to buy you a loaf of bread. What you going to do the next day? All right? Because the dollar fell in, man. All right? America is in debt to China. All right? America's president, all right, Donald Trump, talk so much garbage about uh china okay just enough to, for them not to push that button though all right these people are all in on it man it's a, it's a game it's a back and forth but he ain't gonna piss them off too much all right because you know he knows america couldn't go up against china man he knows america couldn't go up against china so we we talk you know he's he gonna talk a lot of garbage but he's not gonna go up against china man okay because you know we'll be taking off the map Hey, I, I, hey, listen, I hope, I hope he talks a lot of shit about China, okay? And they go ahead and drop those damn missiles, man. 
they go ahead and launch the missiles. All right. Uh, but America's in debt to China. We're never going to pull ourselves out. All right. America, America's never going to get get out of debt to China, man. Hey, so be it. All right. Verse twelve. At the at the at at the same time, Shalaki, at the same time shall men hope but nothing obtain. They shall labor, but their ways shall not prosper, man. So so this is the time that we that we've moved into. This is the time that we're continuously moving into, man. Alright. So this this is some this is some serious things. This is some serious things to consider, man. Hey, and this 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 whole book. This whole book, man. Hey look. You, just, you could just eat this whole thing up, man. Okay, because these scriptures are, are, are serious. You can you can look at them, and and place them and, and place yourself exactly in the space that he's talking about, man. All right, all praises to you. How about Shimei Al Shai, man? Okay, because you can see you can see the times that we're living in, and this is it. This is what is this is what it's talking about right here. Okay, all praises, man. Let me jump. Let me jump to uh, verse fifty-three. Shalaki. Let's see. Let me start at verse fifty. And I asked and said, seeing that, seeing thou hast now given me the way, I will proceed to speak before thee. For our mother, of whom thou hast told me that she is young, draweth now nigh unto age. And he answered me and said, Ask a woman that beareth children, and she shall tell thee. Say unto her, Wherefore are not they, wherefore are not they whom thou hast now brought forth like those that were before, but less of stature? Okay. So if you 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 ask a woman. Um, those who you those who you had, um, those those who you bearing now, they're of a less stature. You know what I'm saying? In other words, they're not they're not as big as your first kids. So a woman got you know four kids, and she had them spaced apart. Okay. The first the first child might be a you know six foot six foot five cat. You know two hundred fifty pounds. All right, straight muscle, and then the the, the last the last uh, kid, you know, is a five five you know runt, you know, maybe weighing in at at, at one hundred sixty pounds. All right, and said uh, verse fifty three, and she shall answer thee. They that be born in the strength of youth, in other words, they that were born when I when I was a young woman, okay. Are of one